Okay, yeah. Okay. Come on. <laughs> okay, did you send it, Jason? Uh, yeah, I read more than. Hold on, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just about one or two minutes, okay. Um, you got pen and paper, good, okay. Can, hmm. Can you see that now? Okay. Uh, let's go back here. Can you? Can we start? Did you send it? No. Sent? Okay. I sent, but because of the website is far through it. Ah. Uh, I I I cannot open my. That's email. okay. You can send it later. That's okay. Do you mind? Um. No, I don't think. You, can you see? Okay. It's. Do you need the light? No, I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, just to give you an idea, yeah, you can put that away. Oh. Yeah, you can do it later, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So last time we had a look at probability, and then what I plan to do next is um have a look at some tables, then I think we then after this will have a look at some statistics and then maybe some graphs, some, something like this. And then after, after we do all this then you can make your report. So um, I think Um, Jason, you have your questions done, but I need to check them, and then Andy, uh, uh, yes. yeah, you need to make your questions then. Yeah. So after you make your questions, you can give them to some people to do. Um, I would say try and get at least 25 people. Oh, where, where are these 25 people? You need to find. <laughs> so, um, I mean... You have some friends you can ask in Korea, maybe, and you can ask your host family, and uh, you could ask some students, or uh, you can ask people at Griffith College, or you can ask people, I don't know, um, you could ask people online, if you know people, you know what I mean? Where? Say again? Or website, you know, the man is a uh, street mm. or on the internet. Yes, I was thinking, for example, with uh, Andy, maybe he knows people online, he can just ask his friends online, you know, like on uh, Facebook. Facebook or mm. or Twitter. Uh, but my question is for uh, the special Yeah, you I think you yeah. would need to. Yeah, just uh, in Dublin. Yeah. I need some uh, really, really, really trusting people. You could ask people, you'd want to ask people near... Yeah, near gyms maybe. Gyms? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could... Uh, uh, dude, I, I have uh, an important... Yes. 
if I go to the gym, gym and ask some questions that I get to the table, yeah. is good or bad? It's good. Just no, no, just me. I mean, the boss kind of. No, you need to ask the boss first. Uh, now, you can always ask people outside the yeah. gym. Is it outside? Oh, outside is fine. It's outside fine. is public. Yeah. Inside, you would need to ask the boss. Okay. Yeah, and if you don't, um, if you don't feel you can do this, you know, you can. You could pay someone to do it, like an Irish person, you know. Huh? Uh, well, no, no, if you could pay a person to ask for you. Do you know what I mean? For money? Yeah. If you don't want to ask, okay, I will find someone you could find someone to do it. How much? About oh. Five? Seven? Maybe, maybe, maybe like nine, nine, nine or hours? ten. Yeah, definitely ten. Nine hours. Yeah. Okay. So you could get like you could you could um get a um a college student to do it. You know. Need for it. Or cheaply. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you know what I mean. No, no, I, I can do. I can try. It's your choice. Yeah. If you feel like you can do this, you uh, that yeah. Whatever you think. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So let's have a look at some uh, tables. So I'll give you an example if you can write this down. So let's say here. Um. We can have. Three, three. Okay, so here we have male, female, smoke, smoker, non-smoker. So let's say in my group of people I questioned, let's say 20 of the men smoked and uh, 10 of the women smoked and let's say 5 of the men didn't smoke and 15 of the women didn't smoke so uh, this is um, uh, if you add them up 20, 30, 5, 50 people so here maybe I ask 50 people I ask them are you male, are you female, are you smoker, are you non-smoker so my questionnaire Maybe question one was, are you male or female? Question two could be, are you smoker or non-smoker? So this pe these people here, they all said, I am male and I smoke. So 20 people said that. Do you understand? Yeah. So um, can you just write this table down? So if you want to be maybe a bit clearer, we can call this a two-way table. Yeah, why do you think I call it two-way table? You don't think we have? Not this actually. Um, more than more than more? No, because smoker, non-smoker, and male or female. So this is why we call it two ways. Three oh. ways. Oh, three ways. Two ways. Uh, no, no, no. Three way would be. Oh, I can't. I can't really draw it. You would have like smoker, non-smoker, male, female, and then maybe something else like um, uh, young, old. Now, why do you think we put the tables together like this? Well, the reason we do this is 
if we think smoking status, do you know what that means, smoking status? If you smoke or don't smoke, and gender, what's gender? Do you know gender? No? Gender is male or female, yeah. If we think smoking status and gender are dependent. So what we're saying is we make this table when we think your gender affects if you smoke or don't smoke. Do you think that's true, that your gender affects uh, your smoking status? You don't think it's true? Yeah. You think it is or isn't true? No, it's a lot of female, um, female. Smoke. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now, it might be different for each country, you know. So, um, I think in Ireland, maybe more men smoke than women, I think. I don't know what it's like in China or Korea, but you, you feel like it's about the same? Don't know, that's okay, yeah. What do you think in Korea? Men, men smoke, smoke. smoke more than women? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Anyways, we can check. So, um, we have our table. Let's answer some questions. Oh, now before I answer, what you should also put in your table are the totals. So, how many smokers do I have? How many smokers? Smokers. 30 smokers. How many non-smokers? 20. So therefore, in total, how many do I have? 50. Okay. How many men do I have? 25. And how many women? 25. And notice, please, that this plus this equals 50, and also this plus this should also equal 50. Okay. Let's try and answer some questions. So I pick somebody from this group. What is the probability that they will be male? So I pick somebody from this group without looking. What's the probability they will be male? What do you think? Well, it should be 50 here. And on the top. 25. There are 25 uh, men. Yeah. 20 of them smoke and 5 of them don't smoke. Probability of female? Yeah. It's the same. It's also 25 over 50. Now what about probability that somebody will be a smoker? 30. 30 over 50. Yeah. And then probability of non-smoker? 20 over 50. Okay, so there's some simple examples. We'll do more difficult examples in a minute. So first, um, just write these four examples down. So we have male, female, smoker, non-smoker. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. These tables are important for your research 
because you can use these tables to see if the gender affects the smoking. So for example, here's our first example. What's the probability um, of getting a smoking male? What do you think that is? Smoking, a smoker and man. Uh, 20, 20 pounds, 30, or over 30. Mm, not quite, almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20, 20 pounds. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, mm, 20. 20 over 50. Why is it smoker in male? Oh, male. No, now you see, this is where we have to be careful with the English. So, this is um, probability of getting someone who is male and smokes. Um, well, I kind of understand maybe your confusion uh, here. No, I know this is Yeah, let me make it clearer for you. Smoker and male. Okay, is this clearer? So this would be uh, 20 to 30. over 50. 20 to 50. Just uh, Yeah, but you're still, picture you have the 50 people. What you're doing is you have the 50 people and you pick one person from the 50 and you say, I want a smoker and a man. So there's only 20 men who smoke in the group of 50. Is okay? Are you sure? Smoker and female. What's that? No, um, Ten over fifty. Okay. Now, smoker from the males. Twenty-five. There's twenty-five men. How many of the twenty-five men smoke? Twenty of them smoke. So this is a smoker, but only from the men. So you pick one of the men. Twenty of the twenty-five will smoke. Okay, you tell me this one. Probability of a smoker from the females. What do you think that is? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, now, just so you know for your English, um, from the, you can also uh, say as given that. It means the same thing, okay? So I could say from the, or I could say given that. So a smoker, given that, they're male. A smoker, given that, they're female. It's the same meaning as from the. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll give you one to try. Probability. Given that, yeah. Oh, yes, and there's a symbol for it. This is the symbol. 
So I can just say probability of a smoker, oh sorry, probability of a male given that they smoke. So what I mean is it's a smoker, it's from the smokers, what's the probability that they're male? Let's look at that. So from the smokers, what is the probability that they are male? Twenty, 20, 20 yes. over. Twenty over. Twenty-five. No. Is male or female? Smoker. A smoker. Smoker. Is thirty. Yes, it's twenty. Twenty-two Twenty over thirty, because there are thirty smokers, and twenty of them are men. Probability of female, given that they're a smoker. Let's see. Ten over thirty. Yeah. And this is really what I care about here. So this is about 67% and this is about 33%, yeah? yeah? So this means if I had 100 smokers, then 67 will be male and 33 will be female. So this is important research because it means if I am imagine I'm selling cigarettes, mm -hmm. then I know for 100 customers, 67 of my customers will be male and 33 will be female. So maybe my advertisement should be more focused on men. Nice. Yeah. You see that, Jason? Yeah. Um, so this here, this given that, is one useful um, calculation from these two-way tables. Yeah. We'll do another example together, and then uh, we can try some. Okay. Did you? Can you write this down? Have you got all of this? Yeah, I'll just give you a minute. Have you studied this before? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you've seen this before, have you? I mean, this symbol? No. No, not this symbol. Okay. Uh, what about the tables? Uh, you've seen the tables. The two table, the two-way tables? Two or three. Okay. Let's do another one then. It's above. Yeah, about, about, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay. So let's do one a, a little bit uh, bigger. So, um, yeah, well, you'll do, we'll do a Jason one. <laughs> okay. So, for example, um, yeah, Jim, and then no... Jim. Um, yeah. And then maybe we could have something like oh meal Jimmy? Nah. Yeah, we could be oh yeah, maybe we could do like age. So maybe we could have like um eighteen to um twenty four something like this, twenty five to thirty, thirty one to 39, 40, 40 plus, something like this, okay. And you ask these people, do you go to the gym or do you not go to the gym? So maybe here we say, five say, I go to the gym, 10 say we don't, maybe here, 20 say they do, and five say they don't, maybe here, um, 25 say they do, and five say they don't, 
I don't know, maybe here, it's 10 and 10. I don't know, I just make up these numbers. Um, okay, so what I want both of you to do is um, draw this table and then make the totals. Okay. The totals first, okay? Uh, so this here is age, and this is uh, gym status. You got the totals? The totals? Let's see. So the first one, how many people are 18 to 24? 15. 15. And then here, 25. 30. 30. 20. Total 90. Total 90. 10, 20, 30. 60. Okay, so these are the totals then. Okay, so here's my question for you. What is the probability that somebody will go to the gym given that their age is less than no, no. age is less than thirty? So, what do I put here? Uh, 25 to 90. Mm -hmm. 30. Uh, 60. 60. Mm -hmm. uh, no? Ah, I know. Yeah? 50, 40. 40? Yeah. Because there are, look, there are 40 people who are less than 30. The ones that go to the gym? Yeah, or 5 and 20. From the, from the 40. 40. So let me see, what is this? This is 5 over 8. So this is what? 62.5%. Okay. What about probability that somebody will go to the gym if they are age bigger than, uh, sorry, this should be that. I'll just change it to this. If they are over 30. Okay, so what do we put down the bottom, maybe? 40 or 50. 50. Because there's 50 here. And how many go to the gym? 25. 35. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, what's that? Um, 7, oh, 70%. Yeah. So in my table, I can see that. Um, Actually, let's do another one, actually. Let me think. Right, so I'll let you try this one for me. I want you to do the other way. What is the probability that their age mm -hmm. is less than 30, given that you know they go to the gym? So you know they go to the gym. Uh, what's the probability that they're less than 30? And then what's their age? Oh, what's the probability they are more than 30, okay. given that you know they go to the gym? Okay. What's the you know the first one? 
Right, so you know they go to the gym. There are 60 people that go to the gym and 25. So what's that? 5 over 12, whatever that is. A little less than half. And then this one here, also over 60. 35, 7 over 12. So for me, this says, okay, if they go to the gym, they're more likely to be over 30 than under 30. Um, I don't know what this is. It's, it's uh, I don't know, something like about 45%. I'm not sure, and this is like about 55%, something like that. Anyway, um, you know that if you have people who are going to the gym, like for example, if you have 12 people in the gym, there will be 5 people who will be less than 30 years old, and then there will be 7 people, for example, for every 12, which would be more than 30 years old. Mm -hmm. So more people over 30 go to the gym than more people under 30. Yeah. So these tables here, and especially this thing, the given that, is very important. Um, no, no, actually I won't give you too much. I don't want to give you too many words. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, okay, so um, why is this important? Well, let me give you um, a table here. So I'm going to say we'll go male, female, and uh, let's go with not smoking, non smoking, drinking non-drinking okay uh, so let's say here this is 20 and then this is 10 and then let's say uh, this is 22 I should know, and this is 11 something like this something like this okay so what I want you to do is do you think the gender affects uh, your drinking status? So what I want to know is do you think if being a man or being a woman will affect if you will drink or not, or it doesn't matter. So what I need you to think about is which probabilities do you need to calculate? So for example, in this one, do you think your age affects if you go to the gym? Definitely, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, age affects if you go to the gym, and you can see that with some of these calculations here. So I want you to think about what you would need to calculate, and then tell me if you think the answer is yes, or if you think the answer is no, okay? So I'll give you maybe two, two or three minutes. Um, maybe you need your calculator, maybe not. But uh, think about this, calculate, and then give me your answer. Um, in three minutes, enough time? Yep, okay. Maybe shouldn't really have the here. Should maybe have. Do you think your gender affects 
searching for the stuff. Think you have an answer? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Have you calculated the numbers? No. Ah. You need to calculate something to prove it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you have an answer, Andy? Yeah. What do you think the answer is? Men is 50%. Yeah. And women is 47. What exactly is 50%? Yeah, like if you were to write that as a probability. Probability. Do you know what I mean? Like how would you write it here? Maybe yeah? Split, split. Yeah, given that. Given, given that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You would say, split. you said that's 50%, is it? Yeah. And then you said probability of female, female given that you drink, is... Okay, so you think this uh, means that your answer is yes. Yeah. Okay. This, this right? Still the no, I don't think it's right. <laughs> but still, still give, give, give the jump. Still give the jump is uh, 57. So you <laughs> said probability of female. No, it's, it's male. Probability of male. Yes. Given, given that. Jump. They drink. They drink. Yeah. Is uh, uh, twenty or thirty? So sixty-seven percent. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. So your answer is the same, though. You say yes. It affects. Mm -hmm. Is your answer yes or no? Gender affects <laughs> drinking status. Are we saying yes or are we saying no? I say no. Now you're saying no, no. okay. Yes, I think the bot not the still. You think no? It's no, it's the uh, age. Maybe, yeah, but here you think it's no. Yeah. Now what you need to calculate is this. You want to know the probability that you drink, mm -hmm. given that you're a man, mm -hmm. is that the same? as the probability that you'll drink given that you're a woman. If these are the same, it means the answer is no. Yes. But if they're different, it means the gender is affecting whether you drink or not. So let's calculate them. So the first one, um, drinking given that you're a man, is that the same as drinking given that you're a woman? Okay, so how many men are there? Um, no, 44 men. Oh, but yes, 44 men, yes. How many of them drink? 20. 20. 
Okay, how many women? 42 men. Oh, sorry, 42, not 44. Uh, how many women? 21. And how many of them drink? 10. So, this is the same as 10 over 21. That does equal 10 over 21. No. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, what's that, about 49%? So the probability, uh, probability of drinking, given that you're a man, equals 49%. And the probability that you drink, given that you're female, is also about 49%. So therefore, the same, therefore gender uh, does not affect Drinking status yeah. because they're the same. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know this would be an example of why these tables are important. You know, um, they're very simple, but you can see they're very useful. So now you know that it doesn't matter if you're male or female there's still a 49% probability that you will drink, be a drinker, yeah? Okay. I think we understand the idea, yeah? yeah? Let's have a look at some questions here. So in this one, uh, you did a survey on 100 people. Can you see Jason? Yeah. You need your glasses? <laughs> yeah. It's very small, I know. So you did a survey on 100 people and you asked them if they like tea, coffee or neither. You know neither? No. Oh, you don't know neither. N neither means not this, not this. Uh, yeah. Don't like. Don't like either. either. Yeah, neither. neither. Do you know the word either? Do you know this word? No? Okay. You say they don't like tea or coffee. But you can also say that as they don't like either uh, tea or coffee. Okay. Either it's all, it's one. If yeah. you don't like one, which one is you don't like? Neither is all, you don't like all. Neither is all of them. Is all of them. Yeah. I, I think it's E R T H. No, no, no. E I, E I. Either. Yeah. So here, 20 men like tea, 20 men like coffee, and 20 men don't like tea or coffee. Uh, 10 women like tea, 10 women like coffee, and 20 don't like tea and don't like coffee. So you pick a person at random, what is the probability they like tea? What is the probability that they like coffee, and what's the probability they don't like tea or coffee? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, let's calculate. Go ahead. Finished? Okay. What's the probability that they will like tea? Tea is 30 to 100. 30 over 100. Uh, yeah. Over and that they like coffee? 40 over 100. Uh? Uh, 30 over 100. <laughs> 30 over 100. And neither? Oh, 
40 over 100. Good, okay. In the second one, what you have is um, 25 students, I think, and um, you can be male or female, of course, and then you have three grades. So you can fail, you can pass, or you can get a merit, which is like a high grade, like A grade. So you have three grades, merit, pass, fail. Okay. So uh, I want the probability of a merit, of a pass, of a fail, uh, probability that they're male, and then probability that they're female. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So try that one now, see what you get. Uh, I think this is 25, let me see, 7, uh, 10, uh, 16, 25, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but maybe I made a mistake because I typed this, oh. you know? So like in my head, I make this, and then I count mm -hmm. and type 25, you know? I uh, know, I sometimes make mistakes. Finished? Yeah? yeah? Right. Probability of a marriage. What's that? Marriage. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve over twenty-five. Twelve. And then of passing? Eight. Eight over twenty-five. And then failing? Five over. Five over twenty-five. And then male is? Twelve Three. over twenty-five. And so female must be thirteen over twenty-five. Okay, now, uh, this one here, again, is like a survey. You have 75 people who watch TV, and there are three groups. You can be elderly, an adult, or a child. And uh, you can watch TV for less than one hour a day, one to three hours a day, or more than three hours a day. So you can see here, 10 elderly people said they watch TV for less than one hour a day, for example. Do you know this word, Jason, elderly? Mm -hmm. means, here look, like usually over 65. Oh. Yeah. Old men. Yeah. Except it's more polite than old man. <laughs> yeah, elderly. Yeah. Okay. You understand this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what is the probability that uh, the person watches less than one hour per day? What is the probability that you get a child, and then uh, a viewer is selected at random, and it is a child, it is a child, what is the probability that the child spends less than one hour per day? So this example is a given that. You know it is a child, so given that from the children. You know. uh, what is the probability that they spend less than one hour? You understand? Okay, so try these three now.
So what is the probability that the person spends less than one hour on TV? 21 over 75. Probability that they're a child? 30 over 75. And the probability they spend less than one hour, given that they are a child? 5 over 30. Good. Good. Okay. Right, now we've already done a smoking example, so we'll skip number 4. Now, let's try number 5. And I made number 5 a little more difficult because some of the numbers are missing. Yeah? It's so easy. Ah, not too easy. A little more difficult. Okay, so here you can ha be male or female, and you can get an A, a B, or a C in your test. Okay, try this, so. Finished? Right. Uh, what number needs to be here? Four. Four, yeah, four. Uh, what number needs to be here? Thirteen, isn't 13. it? Yeah, what number needs to be here? Five. Five. Yeah. Uh, what number is here? Seven. Seven, because this is four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what number is here? Eleven. Eleven. Good. What is the probability that a male will get an A? Male. Yeah. Two or one uh, no. Yeah. Uh, no. 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 Two over. Two over twelve. It's twelve. Yeah. Why twelve? Why twelve? How many men are there? Twelve men. What is the probability that a man will get an A? <laughs> yeah. Now seven. No. A A A in total is seven. It's yes. Still but still men. That's females also. Yeah. 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 Yes. Is it the same? No. Uh, it's two over twelve. Uh -huh. Yeah. What is the probability that a female will get an A? 5 over 13. 5 over 13. Yeah. yeah. And what is the probability that an A grade student is male? Ooh. 2 over 7. Is that one? Yes? Yeah. Okay. So in number 6, you need to make the table. No. I think you can do it. Oh, yeah, try.
So for this one here, you can be male or female, walk to school and don't walk to school. Finished? Oh great. <laughs> Let's make the table. Let's do it together. Oh well let's do the table first. So you can be male or female and then walk or don't walk. Walk and then don't walk. Okay. How many men how many boys walk? Twenty. Twenty. So uh, what else are you told? 30 boys in total, so this must be 10. And then how many women walk? How many girls? 20? So this must be 5? Did I say 45 students? No, 55, sorry. Yeah, 55. Good, good, good. Okay. So, have you done these questions? You're doing D? You done A? D? Huh? Uh, no, I want you to calculate. I calculate. Yeah, so probability of a boy. 30. 30 over. 30 over 50. Uh, a boy who walks to school. A boy who walks to school. What's that? 20 over 30. Mm, no. 30 over 50. Yes. Yeah, so a boy, uh, a boy who walks to school is the same as a, a boy that walks to school or something. Uh, a boy from the walkers and a walker from the boys. Is it a walker from the boys? Walker for the boys. He has the tree, the seed. Hang on, a boy from the walkers is. 20 over 40. Yeah, 20 over 40. And then D, a walker from the boys, 20 over 30. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one, but it's a big one. So this here is 700 patients. You know, people in hospital? Yeah. And they have something called kidney stones. Do you know this? Kidneys. Kidney stones? Maybe you should check this on your dictionary before we go on. Kidney stones. Do you know kidney stones? Yeah, uh, inside your kidneys. Kidneys yeah, are there. Yeah, and small stones. Small stones. So you know kidney stones. Okay. You know kidney... Yeah, you're checking kidney stones. I don't, I don't know kidney stones. 
Oh, oh yeah, okay, you know kidneys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kidney stones are, ah, you know, so you can have small kidney stones or large kidney stones. And then you can have two treatments. So maybe it's drug A and drug B, or treatment A, treatment B, whatever. So you go into hospital, and you can have small kidney stones or big kidney stones, and then you can get like uh, drug A, maybe the new drug, and drug B, maybe is the old drug. So here, um, here, 81 people had small kidney stones and they were successfully treated with A. So this successfully means they got better. Six people had small kidney stones but they were unsuccessful with treatment A. So they didn't get better with treatment A. 234 people had small stones and they were successful with B. But 36 with small stones were unsuccessful. Large stones, 192 were successful with A, and 71 were unsuccessful with A. 55 were successful with B, and 25 were unsuccessful with B. So my first question is, how many patients were treated with treatment A? So uh, these are treatment A. So it should be this plus this plus this plus this. Mm -hmm. They were treated with A. Mm -hmm. And then treated with B would be these four. Okay, so we'll do this um, together. First, I want you just to do A and B first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do A and B first. Yes, maybe you need your calculator. For treatment A? 15. For treatment A? Yeah. Okay. And then treatment B? Same. Okay. You both got the same? Good. Okay, great, great. So 350 and 350. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. So 350 patients got treatment A and 350 people got treatment B. Right. What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment A? So you got treatment A, what is the probability that uh, it will be successful? So that should be, what numbers do I add? No, we can tell me what to add before you do it. So what do I add? Uh, 91. Uh, 81. 81. Add, add 192. Divided by... 350. 200, 273. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said this was 350 here. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, you're saying this is 200. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, 273 three over. 350. Yeah. Right, now I want this as a percentage. 270, 273 divided by 350? Yeah. 78%. Okay, so write that down, 78%. Okay, now give me D.
What did you get, Jason? It's above 83. 83%? Yes, above 83%. About 82, 83. Okay. So, which treatment is more successful? Treatment A or treatment B? B. Treatment B looks to be more successful. Okay. Now, what is the probability of being treated successfully with A if you have small kidney stones? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, calculate. Jason? Uh, 93%. 93%. So if you have small kidney stones, is 93% you will be successful with treatment A? Uh, it's, it's, 90, so it's 81 over 87. 81 over 87, yes. yes. That's right. Good, okay. What is the probability that you will be successfully treated with treatment B if you have small kidney stones? Sixty-five percent. Yeah, you got that, Jason? No. Okay. It should be, uh, no, I think it should be more than 65, isn't it? It should be 2, 3, 4 over, over 270. Yeah, what's that? It's 86. 2, 3, 4 over 270? 87%. 87%, yeah. Not for no, because here it says you have small kidney stones. It's, it's B. So it's B for the small kidney Ah, but... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, sorry, I know what you're saying. No, I understand what you're saying. What is the probability of success of treatment treatment B if you have small kidney stones? Yes, I understand why you're saying the whole thing, but the people here are getting treatment A. Yeah. And we're only looking at treated with treatment B. Mm -hmm. I understand what, yeah, I understand. This is why I put kind of a two lines here. Yeah. It's almost like two tables. I think actually I said 80, uh, yeah, 87. Yeah, no, I understand, Andy, I understand, yeah, yeah, sorry. I, maybe I should really put them as two tables. Yeah. 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 Okay, so which treatment is more successful if you have small kidney stones? No, I think A, because I think you said it was 96%? Well, what was your answer here for F? It's, it's 93. 93. Wow. And what's your answer here for G? So if you have small kidney stones, do you want treatment A or treatment B? You want treatment A. Yeah, it's successful, it's more than this. It's more than? Yeah, it's more than Okay. Now, what is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment A if you have large kidney stones? Calculate. Did you get an answer? Yeah. What answer did you get, Andy? 73. 73? Okay. 
What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment B if you have large kidney stones? What did you get? 68. 68. Yeah. So, which treatment is more successful if you have large kidney stones? A. 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 Yeah. Which treatment is more successful if you have large or small kidney stones? A. A. Um, yeah, large or small, you will prefer treatment A. Yeah, yeah. What was your answer for E? Go back to near the start. E. Yeah, what did you say for E? Do you remember? A. Did you? Yeah. No, you said B. Look at your answer for C. What was your answer for C? What is the probability of being successfully treated with treatment A? You got... And what was successfully treated with treatment B? B. Uh, D is A to treat. So which is more successful? B. Mm. But then here you said, which is more successful? You said A. A. Okay. So why here you said A is more successful, but earlier you said B, B was more successful? Oh. Oh. I see this is more difficult than you think. What happened? The last question is just uh, how small or uh, how long it is. Right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's in total together a half or uh, over two it's, it's maybe uh, mm, not bad but not right close close you're right it is important that here it's all it's not, not just the end yes 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 um so what's happening here which treatment is more successful you didn't care if they're small or large stones yes. But here I say, uh, if you have small or large. Now what's happening here, which treatment is more successful? I think we said um, B. Mm. But maybe B is more successful because more people with easier problems get B. You know, like for example, maybe small stones they're easy to treat. Yes, yeah. So maybe more people get B. You see, in this calculation here, you don't care if they're small or large yeah. stones. Um, whereas here, you do consider it. Uh, let me give you another example. Let me show you. So, for example, um, let's say I have... Um, I take I make a silly example, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say I have um, um, a, uh, some people, and uh, they can be sick or not sick, and um, um, I can give them I can give them um, I don't know I can give them good medicine or I can give them bad medicine, okay? So let's say. Um, the sick people, maybe I only give, I give five of them good medicine, and if they're, well, actually no, let me let me do a better example. Um, okay, so you're sick. You're a person, mm -hmm. and you can be sick mm -hmm. or not sick. Uh, and then here, um, let's not care about the not sick people. So sorry, back to the start. You can be a person who is sick, and I can give you good medicine, or I can give you bad medicine, mm -hmm. and then you can get well, 
or you're not well. And here you can get well or not well. Okay, so let's say, make it easy, um, not, um, nine people get good medicine and one person gets bad medicine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Of the nine people, let's say, eight of them get well, and then uh, one of them does not get well. And then the bad person, a uh, bad medicine, maybe one of them gets well and then zero not well. Mm -hmm. So if you look here at the good medicine, you can see that you have eight out of nine chance of getting well. Yeah, it's yeah nearly 100. Whereas here, yes, it's um, one over one. It's perfect. But this feels wrong. And the reason this feels wrong is because uh, this number here and it's bigger than this number here that if maybe uh, nine people got bad medicine maybe it'll be maybe it'll be maybe it'll be like this one and eight you know so this is one problem uh, but another problem um, and this happens in hospitals um, you're in hospital and you can be young or old and they can give you some new medicine or they can give you some older medicine and they can give you new medicine or you can give older medicine so let's say 25 people are young 25 people are old so what happens in hospitals is the young people they get the new medicine so they go okay we will try new medicine here and five people don't Whereas with the older people, they don't give them the new medicine because they're old, they think, okay, we'll give them the safe old medicine. So maybe this is like 5 and this is like 20. Now, a lot of young people get better. So this makes people think, ah, the new medicine works because they got better. Here, a lot of old people don't get better when they go to hospital. Maybe they die. So this makes them think, oh, maybe the new medicine, not so good. In, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, it was important if they were young or old. And if you forget about that, then you can get the wrong answer. Here, it's important if you have small stones or large stones. We should always um, look at these separately. So at the beginning... We didn't care if it was small or large, we just looked at everybody together. But here uh, at the rest, we do care if it's small or large, and we get the opposite answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you might want to research this, it's a very interesting problem. It's called So Simpson's paradox says when you look at the total you get one answer. So for example, treatment, what do we say? Treatment B was best. But then when you look at each subgroup, you get a different answer. Which is the right one and which is the wrong one? Well, in fact, yes? It's, it's both right. Both are right, but this is better. <laughs> Yeah. So when we get two different answers, this is the, the better answer. Yeah. It's more accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is called Simpson's paradox. When the total gives a different answer to each group. So in the example I did, the groups were small or large. Yeah. So tell so in other words my point is if I was in the hospital, I would choose treatment uh, A, the one we got here, treatment A. Oh, I, I, I think Didn't I we say A here, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I think just a lot of what, if the, you, you will small, small specimen. Yes, 
Now, if I know if it's small or large, yeah, you can adjust the but if I go to the hospital and I don't know if it's small or large, and the doctor says, do you want A or B, and I don't know if it's small or large, I should choose uh, A. But I know what you're saying. If I know it's small or large, then I can make a better choice. Yes, it's different. It's like different, yeah. But if I don't know, if I just go to hospital and we don't know if it's small or large, uh, I think I would choose A. A. See, so uh, these tables can be more difficult than you think. Yeah. Sometimes in the in my last is is not. You must know the you you getting small or big and others and the, the doctor. I know, I know. This is just my silly example. <laughs> I know. I know in real life, if you go to the doctor, they will probably know if it's small or big <laughs> kidney stone. Uh, but I'm just imagining, you know. If they don't know, yeah, maybe their machine is broken. I don't know. Okay, and um, all right. So that's good. That's good. So when you are doing your research, it's nice to have tables like this. So we did your one was um, the gym, gym, for example. And if you're doing one, you could do something like Irish, Korean, and then you can have has a smartphone, doesn't have a smartphone, you know, or has a Galaxy S7, or has a Galaxy S6, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I mean, yeah? So these tables are useful for research. Okay, right, so I don't know if I will have you on Wednesday, because Donald's not in on Wednesday. Uh-huh. Wednesday next week. Uh-huh. You know, last week I had you for course book. On Wednesday, remember? We did the bags. Oh, remember? We were doing the bags. And we said... Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Buckle and... <laughs> zip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week. This week. Oh, sorry, I said last week. No, no, it's last week. <laughs> last week. Because yesterday, no school. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. This week, this week, yeah, yeah. we had course book. So, um, if, I have you, if I have you on Wednesday, uh, I won't do course book. Instead, uh, I will do some more maths uh-huh. because we don't have school on Friday next week. Yes. Wow. But, but, but holiday. Yeah, holiday. Yeah. No school on Friday because it's a holiday. It's called the name of the holiday Good is Good called. Good Friday. Yes, that's right. Good Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. So there's no school. Um, so I maybe will see you on Wednesday. But Wednesday has two. Yes, so I'll see you for one hour. Wow. Yeah. So what I would like to do um, in this class, so do you think you can have your questionnaire finished before Wednesday? No problem. Well, you're nearly finished, <laughs> so it's fine for you. Do you think you can have it finished by Wednesday? Today is Friday. Yes. Yeah. You can try? Yes. Yeah. So um, how many questions did you have? 20. 20. Yeah, and so... 20 in 19. 1920, something like this. Um, so maybe you could do the same. You know, like uh, simple questions like, are you male or female? No. You know, your age. Um, what phone do you have? iPhone, Android. Yeah. You know, um, are you Irish or Korean? Um, does your phone come with a guarantee? You know, stuff like this. Yeah. This actually, this might be useful for you yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, uh, Jason's doing something similar too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the smartphone. Smartphone. Yeah, the last, you, you, your last question, do you like me? <laughs> yeah, like, all the no, yeah, it's similar. Similar questions? Yeah. Do you like me? Do you like me? <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's uh, so, um, if you can try and have these for... Uh, Wednesday, because what I want to, uh, well, if you can try and email it before Wednesday, like on Tuesday, at the latest, because I would like to print them and give you some feedback. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah, so if you email, I can print and give you feedback, and then we can continue with some more probability and statistics Mm -hmm. next Wednesday. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Can I change it to print more easily? Of course, of course. And if you want to change the topic, no problem. You pick something that's interesting to you. Yeah. Yep.